Hi everybody, thank you very much for joining me for the last shave before Christmas here in the den at Friendship Shaving. I'm just putting on a little bit of my usual Prorasso White pre-shave today. To get us started. And uh, I've got a requested shave today from Paul Walker, who lives in London. He uh, contacted me a little while ago and told me he used an Edwin Jagger Kelvin with an Astra green blade and an Arco stick. And he asked if I would or if I could replicate that shave. And uh, I'm going to do my best to do that today. Now I have my Aesop razor, which is a rebranded Edwin Jagger Plaza, but it has the DE89 head, as does the Edwin Jagger Kelvin. I'll talk more about the Kelvin as we go along. I have an Astra Green blade in there on its second shave. Now I don't have an Arco stick, but Paul said he wanted a non-tallow, animal friendly, planet friendly shave, so I've picked up a Wickham's 1912 Vegetal shaving soap, and this one is the Club Cola, which has some neroli in it, so it's a little bit of a citrus shave. Now I've been experimenting with a new way of building a lather in my bowl and that is a proper lather. <laughs> Can you believe it? So there we go, We've, uh, we're going to go with that. It is definitely a work in progress. It was a method passed on by Scott, the peaceful shaver, and uh, as I say, it is a work in progress. I think I've got a pretty good lather. It's not as shiny as I uh, often get a lather, but it looks pretty good, so we'll see how that goes today. And we'll get that straight on. The last time I tried it, it was a little bit too watery. And uh, I'm, using my, I'm using my rubber set number three today, my vintage rubber set. Now the knot I've got in here came from PAA and it takes quite a lot of water so I've had to adjust slightly. But I think you'll agree it's an incredible, look at this, just hang on. I mean, look at that, and there's still some in my bowl. I've never seen anything like it before, so uh, I'm sure some of you know the method, but I will put Scott's video or the link to Scott's video in the description to this video. and. Uh, If you haven't seen this method before, and I hadn't, perhaps you'll give it a go and start to experiment a little bit. Now it feels pretty good as I'm putting it on. It looks okay. Neither too thick or too thin, I would say, at the moment. So. We shall see what it's like when I get shaving. I haven't used my club cola for a while, so I was very pleased to pick that up today and uh, use that. I have other shaving sticks that I could have used, but uh, I thought this was a nice one. 
and it stuck a little bit with the citrus thing. Now I had this conversation with Paul quite a while ago and uh, I have to admit I forgot and um, Paul gave me a gentle reminder and said uh, oh I'm really looking forward to that extra Monday shave because that's when I said that I would do it. So thank you for that timely reminder Paul I appreciate it. And of course this is the perfect time because on Friday when the normal shave goes out it will be Christmas Day which means that the following Friday will be New Year's Day. So there will be a Sunday in between those dates and I will put out a Sunday sit down for you then and the first shave of the New Year will actually be on New Year's Day and I will put that out about four o'clock on that day so a nice way to start the new year I hope now I have to tell you that this is a very nice shave so far I used my Astro Blade on the last shave with this razor And I found that on the first pass, it wasn't so comfortable. And I used to get that with Astro Blades. Um, lately, I've kind of rediscovered them. So I was surprised when I picked it up and there was that little bit of discomfort. Uh, almost like a tugging. Um, not smooth anyway let's put it that way but today on the second shave with this razor blade it's fantastic really really nice this is this is a really nice head for me and i love this razor love the handle shape but the edwin jagger kelvin is a razor that was manufactured specially for Amazon. It has the DE89 head and it has a shorter, thicker handle, a stubbier handle. Now the knurling on the handle is very nice indeed. Um, and I wonder if after Christmas it will be in a sale. But um, he had a regular DE89 head with a shorter, sturdier handle. It looks very nice. Chrome razor. But uh, I shan't be getting one. Simply because I've got the DE89 head. And you have to draw the line somewhere, I feel. Um, the look of the kelvin, that the knurling on the handle is a little bit different, but it reminds me of the um, Gillette Heritage razor that was bought out last Christmas. Now I'm not using my flannel today. Just like to say thank you for all your comments on the last video. I'm still working my way through answering them, but thank you very much. And one gentleman whose username is just Uncle L suggested that well he told me what he does and he wipes his hands and as you saw just rubs the water onto his face picking up any little bits of lather that might be knocking about still and adding a little bit more moisture to the show now I can tell you my face is as slick as can be 
what I've got into the habit of doing, and it's because I make a video, I stopped rinsing my face in the sink so much because I didn't like bending down and disappearing from view. It seems a strange thing. So I started using the flannel and I thought that was okay, but actually I wonder in using the flannel if I've been wiping away some of the cushion and some of the slickness that the soap normally gives me in between passes. Uh, I think I've just been wiping it off. So I was really appreciative to try this method, tried it on the last shave and um, trying it today. So uh, I think it'll be very good actually. So two Two new things going on today. Two new, two new techniques, if you like. Um, I absolutely love that about shaving. What's that saying? It's never too late to teach an old dog new tricks. Well, I'm learning some new tricks today, and uh, I think it's really great. It'll give me something to think about and work on. I'll tell you what, this. This is slightly ridiculous, actually. <laughs> Look at the amount of... The technique involves wetting your brush, letting it just drain until the water stops dripping out of it, and then squeezing the water into your lather bowl. A 30 second load on the soap, and then work it in for, I did about four minutes today. Um, as you can see, the amount of soap is just ridiculous but if I'm looking at it and there are just a few little air bubbles in it it feels a little frothy as I'm putting it on But I had a lovely first pass and uh, as you saw there was great slickness when I wiped my face so you know perhaps this is this is a good good lather and uh, but definitely something I'll be experimenting with. It seems strange to be doing the last show before Christmas. Um, in some ways, the year has gone very quickly. And in others, it's gone quite slowly. Time is a strange old thing, isn't it? As we're coming up to Christmas, I hope you're looking after yourselves. I know a lot of us this year will be affected.
by the Rona, as our American friends call it. And the restrictions that are in place, but um, keeping good spirits, guys, keeping good spirits. Do you know, I rang a company this morning and uh, I bought a new chair and I was wondering about delivery and um, I rang a lady who was working from home. Do you know what? She sounded so flat and depressed that I had to ask if she was okay. And... Um, well, we ended up talking for about 20 minutes, so if that is you and you're feeling that down, you know, pick up the phone to somebody. And enjoy your shaves, whatever you do. I'm just wetting my hands. I think this works very well for, for the camera, certainly. As I'm not disappearing. My face is nicely slick. set 400 it's fantastic now I'll just work what I've got in here a little bit more I'll take as much out as I can and we will put it on the face <laughs> What about you then? Look at this. Well, look, I can't get it off the brush. It's, um, there we are. I'm just going to put that there. <laughs> it's crazy. Absolutely is. Yeah, I do feel this is a little bit fluffy. Frothy is perhaps a better word, but work in progress there. Now, I was looking at the Edwin Jagger website, as I do from time to time, you know, if I'm shaving with a razor, I'll go and just have a little look at their website. I did notice there is a DE86 and a DE87. I've never noticed that before, um, and obviously that is as well as the well-known DE89 head, and I think it's the same head, but I think the DE, got it written down, the DE86 is a short handle, and the DE87 is a bit of a longer handle. Doesn't it confuse the heck out of you when companies do that? It confuses me, but then again, it doesn't take much, I'll be honest with you. Well, 
What I really enjoy about this razor, the DE89 head. Let's just call it the Aesop razor. Um, is that against the grain on my neck? It's phenomenal. It does a really good job. It's really close, but it remains comfortable. I think that is the reason why this style of head, and uh, let's not forget the Moolah R89 as well, has been copied so much around the world. Now I can't remember, did I go that way or did I go that way? my shave and uh, it was a wonderful shave indeed so thank you for for suggesting that I'm sorry that it took me a long time to get that out and I will get that out today on Monday so this will be an extra Monday shave Now a new series coming up for the Sunday sit downs. I yet to decide whether I will start those the Sunday between Christmas and New Year or whether I will wait for the New Year to start the new series. I think you'll enjoy it, you'll like it if you like a little bit of razor history. still got lots of slickness on my skin and I feel that I've got enough that I can just do that and pick up that little bit there that I missed. It's not super slick but plenty slick enough. The slickness and the cushion is something that, now I can feel the cushion, is something I'm going to be paying a little more attention to. I've become a little bit more interested in that, as you will realise from my last video. Oh, there we go, got a squeaky face. Must have had a good shave. So I haven't got any Allen block on yet. Now, I've got, where are we, here we are, I've got a matching 1912 Club Cola aftershave bomb. Happy happened. I've run out. Now, that's thrown me, eh? I'm going to the cupboard, I won't be a moment. Here we are, like I've picked up something with a little bit of citrus that I feel will go. A fine Italian citrus. We'll have a splash of that on. Even the colour goes with the colour of the 1912 label. Oh my goodness, that is a great scent, isn't it? Oh, I absolutely love that. Now, that is my shave. 
Keep yourself safe and well over Christmas. Keep yourself in good spirits. I know a lot of us are in tier four. Keep yourselves in good spirits. I will be back for a Sunday sit down. I think it's the 27th. I'll see you very soon. Be well, be safe. Try and have a Merry Christmas. Bye bye now.